Have you ever pondered about the significance of the red heifer in apocalyptic prophecies? This seemingly innocuous animal holds a pivotal role in the stirring world of prophetic predictions. The recent surge of interest in apocalyptic prophecies is intertwined with the phenomenon of the red heifer, an essential component of ancient rituals. This has sparked a whirlwind of speculation about an impending cataclysm. Humanity's fascination with the end of the world is as old as civilization itself. We've eagerly anticipated the apocalypse on various dates throughout history, none of which have come to pass. This allure of doomsday scenarios predates even organized religion, evident in ancient texts such as the Epic of Gilgamesh. As the stage is set for our discussion we find ourselves focusing on a centuries-old tradition centered around the preparation of a sacrificial altar in Jerusalem for a red heifer. This tradition, deeply significant in Jewish purification rituals, is causing a stir in the modern world. In the next few minutes we will delve into the depths of this fascinating topic, tracing its roots from ancient texts to the current speculation. The allure of doomsday scenarios predates organized religion, as seen in ancient texts like the Epic of Gilgamesh. The fascination with the end times and the symbolism of the red heifer is deeply rooted in ancient texts including the Bible. The red heifer, or para aduma in Hebrew, is referred to in the Book of Numbers in the Old Testament. It is described as a cow, completely red in color, without any blemish, and one that has never been yoked or put to work. This red heifer is considered essential for Jewish purification rituals, particularly those associated with the cleansing of individuals who have come into contact with a corpse. The tradition of the red heifer is a centuries-old one, and it involves the preparation of a sacrificial altar in Jerusalem. The ritual begins with the slaughtering of the red heifer outside the city. Its blood is then sprinkled towards the sanctuary, and the heifer is burned in its entirety. The ashes of the red heifer are then used to create a solution for purification. This purification process is not just a mere ritual, it is a prerequisite for the Jewish people to fully engage in their religious duties, especially those related to the temple in Jerusalem. Without the red heifer's ashes, the Jewish people are considered in a state of impurity, unable to fully participate in the temple's rituals. The red heifer's significance extends beyond its role in purification rituals. It is also seen as a harbinger of the construction of the Third Temple, a religious event of immense importance. This Third Temple is believed to be the temple that will stand during the Messianic era a time of universal peace and divine rule. It is this historical context that has set the stage for the current speculation and interest in the Red Heifer. Fast forward to the present day, and the potential construction of a Third Temple in Jerusalem has reignited interest in the Red Heifer. Now, you may be wondering, what is the connection between this ancient bovine and a modern architectural project? Well, in Jewish tradition, the sacrifice of a red heifer is considered essential for the construction and purification of the Third Temple, a structure prophesied to usher in a messianic era. The plot thickens when we consider the proposed location for this Third Temple. The site, revered by Jews, is also home to two significant Islamic structures the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and the Dome of the Rock. The intersection of these religious landmarks creates a complex weave of religious and geopolitical tensions. On one hand there's the Jewish anticipation for the Third Temple, seen as a fulfillment of prophecy. On the other there's concern from the Muslim community about the potential displacement or even destruction of their revered sites. And in the middle of it all, the Red Heifer an unlikely symbol of both anticipation and apprehension. These narratives aren't just confined to religious texts or theological discussions. The internet, our modern-day town square, amplifies these stories, speculations, and yes, even conspiracy theories. The digital age has allowed these ancient prophecies to take on a life of their own, sparking debates, discussions, and a fair amount of doomsday predictions. The red heifer sacrifice is significant in Jewish tradition for the construction and purification of the Third Temple, seen as a step towards a messianic era. So as we navigate this intricate web of beliefs, prophecies and potentialities, it's essential to approach the subject with an open mind, understanding the importance of these symbols in their respective cultural contexts. So, what have we learned about the red heifer and its significance in apocalyptic prophecies? Throughout history, Humanity's fascination with the apocalypse has given rise to countless prophecies and predictions, none of which have been realized, yet each one contributing to our collective lore. 
In our exploration of the red heifer's role in these narratives, we've seen how this seemingly ordinary animal is imbued with extraordinary significance. The red heifer, central to ancient Jewish purification rituals, has become a symbol of an impending cataclysm, a possible herald of the apocalypse. This symbolism is deeply rooted in centuries-old traditions, where the preparation of a sacrificial altar in Jerusalem for a red heifer was seen as essential. The potential construction of a third temple in this context is viewed as a step towards a messianic era, a time of profound transformation. But it's not just about the red heifer or the third temple, it's also about the places where these narratives intersect, where sacred spaces overlap. The site of the proposed Third Temple is also home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, significant Islamic landmarks. This overlap leads to religious and geopolitical tensions, adding another layer to the prophecy's complexity. The Internet, our modern-day oracle, amplifies these discussions, stirring speculation and fostering a multitude of interpretations. From doomsday predictors to curious bystanders everyone has a perspective and each perspective adds to the story's richness. But let's not forget the potential consequences. While some view the red heifer's sacrifice and the third temple's construction as steps towards spiritual renewal, others express concerns about the possible destruction of the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, highlighting the prophecy's real-world implications. While the red heifer continues to be a topic of speculation and discussion, its historical and religious significance can't be denied. As we continue to explore and understand, remember, Every story has many sides and every prophecy, many interpretations.